Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be filming the full pieces that I had gotten from the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics release. I had filmed when I had gotten the first of the two orders that I had placed, but today I'll be showing you all of them. So I just wanted to refilm this video. So the first color is Amazeball. what it looks like on my lips. As you can see, this is a very nude color on me. I wouldn't typically wear this color on its own. Yesterday I had worn Amaze Balls, Hustle, and Sophia together and that created a really beautiful color. I'll show you really quickly how she kind of did in the, her video on her Insta stories of using Strip Down. So I'll put on a lip liner really quickly. And I'm just outlining. I really like neutral tone looks, so I'll definitely be getting a lot of wear out of this color. It's one of my favorites. I'm definitely glad that I was able to pick it up. Now let's move on to the next shade. The next shade I'm going to be trying on for you guys is the shade Hustle. This is my favorite, and this was in the second order that I had placed. Okay, and next I'll be trying on Hustle for you. This color I love so so much. I'm so happy I was able to pick it up between this and Amaze Balls, and I didn't get to pick up Obsessed. That one got sold out by the time I was able to check out. This color is just so nice. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like mixed with Amaze Balls really quickly. turns it into the most beautiful beautiful mixture and I asked my husband what he thinks these smell like and he says that it smells like the marshmallow scented markers from when we were younger to me it smells like something very familiar but I can't place what it smells like next I'm going to be showing you the color Sophia I'm going to show you what it looks like love this color so much. Ugh. I'd say this color is very rosy looking in person, but not too, too much. And I'll just show you a little concoction I made yesterday on my lips with Amaze Balls and Hustle. They're so creamy and buildable that I don't feel like I'm wearing three lipsticks. This is what all three of them look like. Again, Hustle, Amaze Balls, and Sophia. They feel so nice on. Besides the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing, I've never felt a lipstick feel this soft and smooth and make my lips feel so nourished and a very, very creamy formula. Next, I'm going to try the color That Girl. This is what that girl looks like. I really, really love all these colors that I picked up. I really like this color. It's definitely more of like a corally color. I haven't tried to mix this with anything just yet. I think I actually might mix this with Hustle just because I love it so much. I just want to see what this looks like. 
because that curl on its own I don't see me getting too much use out of. Oh, I am so glad I did that on camera. So that girl and Hustle together make this little concoction and I love how peachy it looks and not so much coral now. I hope that's coming across on camera. Next is Cheeky. This is one of my favorites. Oh, such a beauty. Oh, I'm gonna show you this way. I'm gonna show you it on my lips, and again, this is Cheeky. This is very cool tone. This is what Cheeky looks like. It looks very neutral on camera. It's a very pretty color. <clears throat> I would say very vampy for me, but not too far off from what I would like to wear anyways on a regular day off. Ooh, sorry. The next color is going to be Tipsy. And this is what the color Tipsy looks like. Again, this is definitely one of my favorites. I would be wearing this on its own. So, 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 so beautiful. I really don't see myself needing to mix this with anything or even want to pair with the lip liner. It's just very, very beautiful. This and Hustle are my two favorites for just standalone, no mixing. Next, I'm going to try on the Gossip. It's so funny because on my hand it looks very brown, but on my lips it looks very uh, cool tone. But up close I could definitely see the terracotta tones that she was referring to. I have two left to swatch. Next I'm going to show you the color Independent. And I have a light medium olive skin tone. I will list my foundation shades as for reference for people that might be within my skin tone range I might want to know exactly how this might possibly look on them so this is what independent looks like this one is more cool tone as well definitely a lot more vampy on my skin tone I really love the way this looks me personally, I like more warm tones, but I definitely like this color a lot. And lastly, I'm going to show you the color Hot Toddy. I love this color so much. And I forget who it was that had mentioned this, but the darker you go in the shade range, 100% it gets more creamier which is actually nice because usually when you work with deeper colors um, they can kind of skip or not evenly distribute pigment this all the way around it just almost feels like I'm putting on like a very moisturizing like balm that's the best way I know how to describe it so it's very easy to just one swipe this on The color I would say is more neutral. It's not really too cool or too warm. It's just very, very beautiful. This would be definitely like a deep lip that I really, really enjoy. The other deep lip I like wearing, not from this range, would be the Revlon 265 from their color matte range, from their matte balm range, from the crayons. And that is actually a dupe for I believe it's the Pat McGrath flesh 
five. Um, I have a video, so I'll, I'll leave that in the cards for the what that would look like. But yeah, these are the lipsticks. They are beautiful. They smell really, really, really good. When I originally had filmed this, I was just, I am still so excited, but I was just very excited to, to get these and sniff them every single time I tried on a, um, I almost said a flavor, um, one of the shades. It just smells like a very, very nice, like sweet vanilla e scent. It feels really nice. The component is beautiful. The only one that was slightly kind of dented from transit, probably from the heat, um, is that girl. It just has a little bit of, just has a little bit of baby bruising. There you go, you can see it. Of like a press against the back of the the lipstick barrel but I have lipsticks that do that um, from NARS so I'm not too worried about it um, the only color that I didn't get was that I wanted to besides obsessed was nude AF and I have the Charlotte Tilbury kissing lipstick in nude Kate and I felt like I use that so 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 much that I didn't really need nude AF. Um, if I didn't have the Charlotte Tilbury one, I definitely would have picked it up to use it kind of in the same type of way. I use that Charlotte Tilbury lipstick with this first, and that kind of makes it a little bit more balmy and a little bit more sheeny. I do have a tutorial with that as well, wearing that. I think it's uh, my dewy makeup. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Until next time, bye. And I did just want to say before I go that Jacqueline, you did an amazing job with these lipsticks. I know you said you took three or four years on these. So thank you finally for coming out with this. And I can't wait to see what you come out with next. I definitely will be purchasing. Mm -hmm.